Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again. Uh, my I'm using my phone for this, and I've got like because my camera battery is dead, and I've lost my uh, camera battery when I moved. Uh, well, not camera battery, my camera battery charge when I moved. So I'll get a new charger later. So I've had to blue tack my uh, my phone to my tripod. So hopefully this looks alright. I can't really see because I don't have a viewfinder to see how it looks. So this is a bit. I'm a bit nervous about that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this video, I wanted to talk about, since especially since I've been doing lots of, ugh, this is so weird because I usually script my videos recently, so I don't even know how to talk normally, even though I do podcasts every week, no big deal. This video, I want to talk about Assassin's Creed and the future of that on my channel and things like that. Uh, a lot of you might have heard recently through Kill Connor Club, Kill Connor Clubhouse, you know, Patreon, everything like that, the things I do, all the podcasts I do. Uh, myself and James Lasers talking about our thoughts on Assassin's Creed, especially how things are going with No Bayek sequel, potentially a new game coming out this year or the start of next year, so not doing the two-year gaps. They're really trying to bring back annual releases or things like that, and the rumors we've been hearing, and just our overall thoughts on Assassin's Creed, and it's made me want to talk about that on this channel and the videos I'll be doing in the future, because I've got just behind me, behind this chair, you can't see it, uh, a schedule written down of videos I'm going to be doing the next couple months, and it's, you know, it's a broad horizon in terms of, I'm going to be doing, it's like I've been doing well-edited, well-crafted, scripted videos, and people have been loving those sorts of videos, and that's what I'm going to be doing when you want things of just me talking, my general thoughts, and long-winded stuff, that's for podcasts, Kill Connor Club, over on James's channel, or iTunes, SoundCloud, Patreon for Kill Connor Clubhouse, things like that. Things in that nature are going to be changing because James and I are both changing the way we do our channels overall in the sense that we've already been going in that direction. He's doing lots of scripted video essays and I'm doing a similar thing, talking about different stuff. Uh, and because of that, those two things, we want to then streamline Kill Connor Club, Kill Connor Club House. We're only in early talks. That'll be something that'll be changing over the next 12 months. So it's not something that's happening tomorrow or something, but we're very early talks of planning how we're going to do something like that. But we're going to try to make it work so we can still give the sorts of content that people like to hear. So the people that want to just hear general chats about a whole lot of stuff in detail can get, or if people just want those really specific sorts of videos that are concise, short, you know, scripted sort of stuff, you know, they can get the best of both worlds. Uh, so with Assassin's Creed, which is what this video is about, I wanted to talk about my feelings on it. In just a little more detail for people that may not have heard what I've been saying recently um, or haven't really heard the rumors recently with Assassin's Creed, just to sort of give some reasoning of why I feel the way I feel about it and why I'm going to go the direction I'm going on that channel. And there have been people that are saying things like, oh, you, you're upset with Assassin's Creed all the time over the years and you always say this and then when as soon as the game announces you're on its dick and you're all excited and you build it up and you do videos anyway. Look, your track record, you're not, I mean... You're not wrong, sort sort of. I mean, I've I've been saying what I've been saying, and there's been things Assassin's Creed have done. I've been consistent with what I've been saying, but you know, Origins obviously was a great game. I loved it. Loved Bayek. There are plenty of flaws with it. It's not a perfect game by any means, but I thought it was a great game. But it, it looks like, unfortunately, it might have been an anomaly. I don't know that the the next game hasn't been announced. Uh, the next game's not official. We haven't seen any gameplay of it. I've heard from my um, from people, uh, where the game is, the things they've seen of it, and how it looks, and also when it's coming out, and, you know, it doesn't look bad or anything, it doesn't, oh, sorry, it doesn't sound like a bad game or something, but my problem isn't that, my problem is things like no bike sequel, the modern day being absolute shite, and an overarching narrative, which is what I look for when I play single player games, you know, I'm a single player gamer, essentially, that's what, I talk about when I talk about games, that's what I'm into the most, and when you see videos on my channel when I talk about any game, that's my focus, and that's what I'm into, when I do future videos, I'm going to be talking about single player games, including Assassin's Creed, Horizon, Uncharted, God of War, Fable, Halo, things like that, those are what I want to focus on, the single player aspects of those things, and uh, th this channel moving forward is going to be all about all sorts of video games and entertainment. When I do podcasts, I talk with James about Marvel and all that sort of stuff. Now, with Assassin's Creed in particular, uh, over the last few years, and you know, it's it's becoming clear now that we thought they were going in a certain new direction because of Origins, and that was going to change everything moving forward in the future. 
but it doesn't look that way. Uh, long term, it looked like it was a short term fix to kind of get faith back. But at the end of the day, it's still a game with some ridiculous microtransactions. It's still a franchise that has no overarching narrative because they're not going to do a bike sequel by the by the sounds of it. I, you know, I'm 95% sure we're not getting bike again. Uh, probably 99% sure. I'll be stunned if we, if they announced a bike sequel. Um, so I'm just at the point that I've wanted it to be good for so long and I fought my ass off as a fan with a lot of you that have been watching uh, that are, you know, wanting a more overarching narrative in the modern day, as well as the answer storyline, wanting a bike sequel, wanting to have your investment in the game matter for the next game. But Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft games in general, companies like EA do the same thing. They're about, it's like an assembly line, games out as quick as we can, uh, as good as we can with the time we're going to do it, which doesn't make it the best game. And to make as much money as we can, here's some, put some microtransactions in there, and, you know, let's make some cash. And they're a business, I don't begrudge them for that, but that is an issue for me in terms of, am I going to really spend my time with the channel talking about that all of the time? Now, I'm not going to stop making Assassin's Creed videos, that's not happening, but just the way I'm going to do it's going to change. Uh, I'm not covering Assassin's Creed anymore as like a news journalist or doing news videos. I haven't really done a lot of that over the last two years probably, um, or at least the last year. Uh, so, and I'm not going to be doing that. I'll, I'm not going to, when games come out, I'm not going to do walkthroughs. I'm not going to do let's plays. I'm not going to do time my plays in them. I'm not going to do achievement guides. I'm not going to do any of those things. That's, you know, Assassin's Creed is no longer the focus of the channel. The only Assassin's Creed videos you will see is Assassin's Creed The Truth. That's the main series that people watch anyway for my channel. That's where most of my subscribers come from. And that's a big series that I care about. I love making those videos. That's why I want to keep doing them. It's maybe doesn't matter how I feel about Assassin's Creed. doesn't matter how mad it makes me or how just kind of disinterested I am in it. Making videos like The Truth are fun for me. Like that last one, The History of Abstergo, that was so fun to research, to read up on, to craft a, you know, a video together. And it's a lot of work and I like that. That's fun for me and I want to keep doing that where I get to do some research and have explanations of old history. I have this knowledge of Assassin's Creed that, you know, most people don't have, that I've spent years and years and years, you know, learning and understanding everything in this damn franchise, and, you know, I'm not just going to throw that away, all the investment I put, you know, six years into this channel and that franchise. I'm going to use it to continue to make videos talking about the history of Assassin's Creed, the lore of it that still matters, not that much matters anymore, which is part of the reason I'm moving on from it. But also, you know, when it comes to the next games, I might do a, tr a truth episode on uh, how it's looking or overall thoughts or or something like that. I guess talking about some lore in it and perhaps some before a game comes out because it's probably set in Greece from the looks of it. You know, maybe I'll talk about some history and that setting and the period it's set in and what it could be about. You know, I'm going to do truth videos in the next games. You know, I probably will play them. I don't know, but I'll, if they look good and good reviews, I'll probably, you know, almost definitely play them, and I'll do truth videos for that every couple of weeks. That's still going to happen. The main series people watch my channel for will still be there uh, in, in the form it is, but I'm not going to do anything outside of that with Assassin's Creed, because I don't really want to be uploading all the time, like, when the game comes out and do, like, trying to get 20 videos out in a week just to get heaps of content out. I'm not going to do that. Every video I try to make, I'm going to make the best videos I can make uh, with well-scripted, well-crafted stuff and continue to do more podcasts when I want to talk about things in general. I'll do a spoiler cast when games come out with James and movies that we like and things like that. So that's the future of Assassin's Creed on my channel. It's the truth series will continue and that's, and that's it for me and that's because to me, uh, I'm just not, there's no investment reasons. I've given it chance after chance after chance to redeem itself, and Origins was a step in the right direction, but that was kind of, it did what I wanted that once, and then they're like, yeah, but we're not going to keep that going, which is kind of the point of it. To me, Origins is supposed to be the start of a continuing investment into what the fans are asking for, not just, uh, you know, random Billy Joe who's just going to buy an Assassin's Creed game if his mate tells him to, that they're trying to get in, you know, those mainstream fans. They 
just, tr you know, trying to focus on them instead of focusing on the hardcore gamers' enjoyment, which then leads to bigger sales when you've got critics raving about it, and then the hardcore gamers rave about it, and then all of a sudden everyone hears about it, and they're like, shit, maybe I should play that, i.e. God of War sells shitloads of copies, i.e. Horizon Zero Dawn sells shitloads of copies, you know what I mean? So... It's not that Assassin's Creed doesn't sell well. Obviously, it sells pretty well. And so do most Ubisoft games. So do most EA games. But they always get backlash. They always have issues. But their focus is not on the hardcore gamers. And I'm a hardcore gamer. So I'm not going to spend all my time making YouTube videos talking about rubbish and news that I don't really care about and I'm not interested in. Assassin's Creed lore is a mess. And it's been a mess for a long time. It's getting worse. They can't finish storylines. They start things. They don't finish them. So there's all these videos I've made about the setup they're doing from Origins and things like that. And that's tr true. You know, they're setting that up. But whether they'll ever address them, especially in a video game, you don't know. Based on track record, they probably won't. And if they do, it'll probably end up in a comic, i.e. Juno. And having no sequel with Bayek and investment in the Ancestor storylines, I'm just kind of over that. So... Those are the reasonings why. So if you like the Truth series, that's going to stay. And I want to talk about lots of other video games. God of War is a great game. I absolutely love that. I've made a, a review on it. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. Uh, I've got a plan for in the next couple of weeks to do a nice like E3 preview. The games I'm looking forward to that we know are going to be there. The surprises I, ex I either expect or would like to see coming out of it. I'm going to do some Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff. I'm going to do some Kingdom Hearts stuff. And I'm going to do some Future Horizon stuff. I'm going to talk about all games that I love to talk about and make videos that I hope interest you. And I'm hoping to connect more of my channel with the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash as always. Check that out. Because, you know, we do lots of podcasts on there, which is great. And we talk about things in detail. But I'd like to have an impact with future rewards potentially for video ideas and topics as a reward on Patreon. So that way every month, uh, you know, people can post what videos they want me to make, they'd like me to talk about, and I can make a, you know, a nice video on that. Um, so there's going to be some changes and I'm going to keep you updated on that. But I just want to let people know how I'm feeling about Assassin's Creed. I really feel like that's important for people to understand the direction my channel is going in. I don't want to just decide and do it. I want to let you guys know what's happening. I want you guys to know why it's happening and know that I'm going to keep doing videos as long as I physically can do it, even though I've got, you know, work and things coming up and changes that are going to be happening in my life in the next couple of months. But uh, other than that, YouTube to me is super important. I want to try to get at least a video out every week. That would be really nice to have one video a week that's, you know, I've spent a lot of time and I've written a script for, I've edited it as best as I can. And I'd be really happy with that. Maybe two a week if I can, you know, if you get the time. But, you know, I feel like one a week, solid, you know, a good time spent into that video would be really nice. Plus, I do a podcast every single week as well. So there's always me doing stuff. I'm always around. Um, so thank you. If you've gotten this far in this video and listened to me ramble on, I didn't really have any plan for this. It was just feel. I woke up this morning and had this feeling like, this is where I want to go with my channel. I've talked to James about it. And he feels the same way, you know. And our channels, especially in the last you know year to two years, um, when it comes to ideas, have always been sort of streamlined and tried to connect them in terms of we try to complement each other, uh, where we're not talking about the same thing. We don't make the same sorts of videos, or, or we don't talk about the same topics. But we, you know, make our own videos and the uh, the own things we, the things that we feel about things, and then we come together with our podcast and Patreon to really um, build that community together in things we love and enjoy. Um, so, talking to him, I've definitely woke up this morning feeling like shit. I really need to make this video to to talk about that. So hopefully, it all sort of makes sense. I feel like I didn't make any sense. I'm so not used to not planning things anymore, not scripting things. It's funny. So yeah, that's that's it. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts and uh, in the comments, you know, just kind of uh, what you guys want to see. Any ideas maybe you guys have for things I can do, uh, future videos or future, you know, uh, improvements for the podcast, for Patreon, for everything like that. And and yeah, uh, hopefully you you understand where I'm coming from with Assassin's Creed. I know there's still plenty of fans out there that are like, "Fuck you, Tyler. It's still great. It's awesome." Yeah, it's not in my opinion, but that's cool, you can like it, but I'm not going away from it forever, I'm going to do what I like to do with it, which is the truth, and it's what most people like anyway, it's the vi the videos that get by far the most views on my channel, so I, I'm sure people will be fine with it just being the truth, and it's still being every two, three weeks, try to do something with it, so yeah, at least that's the plan, every two, three weeks, I'll try to get like a truth video out, that, you know, something that I can research and have fun with, or some ideas that I have for the future of the franchise, um, 
you know, just talking about things I care about that I actually want to talk about, that I feel necessary to talk about. Uh, I don't just want to make videos for the sake of videos. I want to make videos because I'm like, shit, that's a great topic. I really would like to really craft it and, and write it out and come up with a good idea and then make a video out of it. So that's what I want with this channel. I want it to be uh, a, a concise version of my ideas talking about video games. And then when I want to just blurt out bullshit, I have podcasts for that. So it's the best of both worlds for myself and hopefully for you guys as well. Anyway, I've been repeating myself, so I'm just going to stop talking. Um... Thank you for watching, if you've gotten this far through, or if you haven't, if you just watched one minute of it, I appreciate you, uh, and thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you very soon with another video that I've got planned for next week, and for the podcast this Sunday, Kill Connor Club episode 72 with Brett or UB Central, so get excited for that, I will see you all very soon for more, thank you, goodbye.